So I just made a video about how Ben Askren was not ready for the Jake Paul fight and how he was goofing around and trolling the whole time he should have been training. But now I've done some more research and I am fully convinced that this fight was rigged. So I'm going to show you guys why I think that and show you guys all of the evidence to back it up. So when first watching the fight, I did not even consider the possibility of it being rigged. I'm just used to watching the UFC where everything's pretty clearly legit and there are no questions about if it's set up. I had seen comments saying rigged, rigged as fuck, a bunch of people claiming it was rigged, and I automatically assumed that it was just people that were disappointed in the outcome of the match. But after inspecting it further, I think they're onto something. I mean, this match was extremely suspicious. This shit is weird, and we're going to break it down in a little analysis right now. Sorry in advance for talking over Snoop Dogg's clueless commentary. So right off the bat we got Jake Paul jumping in pretty confidently. He's obviously pretty used to the acting industry and he kind of knows how to act pretty well. So here's a pretty convincing scene right here. It's really weird how the camera angle changes right when he lands the punch though. I'm not saying that this is like a TV set. I'm just saying you can't really tell how hard that punch was. But after this, I think Ben Askren realized that he's going to have to slow it down a little bit if he wants his full paycheck. And here we got a lot of jumping around, as to be expected. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through a lot of this. Now here's my favorite part. I don't know what's going on right there, but I'm going to slow that down for you. So the two-time MMA champion that defended his title five times in a row is seen chasing Jake Paul with his fist out straight. And this is a tactic I've never seen Ben Askren use before in any of his previous fights. Part of me thinks that he did this on purpose, and he wants the people that know about the sport to know that this is not Ben Askren. He's chasing a check, and he doesn't want this shameless handshake to a fortune to ruin his legacy. Coming up, you'll see Jake Paul getting into over and under with the Olympian wrestler Ben Askren. And I'll play it over a couple of times, but just look at those punches. It's like one of those toy monkeys that slam the instrument pan things together. It's definitely suspicious. And we got the knockout coming up here soon, so I'm going to play some of the Lawler vs. Askren fight where he took several blows to the head, and we'll do a little comparison. says it all. Askren's holding on to him anymore. Oh. And Phil Robbie oh. He's got a bulldog choke. Yep, and that's tight. Oh, he's going oh. out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Ben Askren. And here's Jake Paul's supposed knockout with 8-ounce gloves. It also didn't look as powerful as the punches that Robbie Lawler landed on him. I'll play it over a couple of times so you can see the speed. It's a pretty slow hook. Versing Robbie Lawler, Ben Askren took multiple very hard strikes to the head with 4-ounce gloves and some elbows and still was fine and came out with the victory. Versing Jake Paul, his first overhead right there was pretty fast, but compared to the hook, it just shows you how slow that hook really is. After the knockdown, we got Ben Askren and his little scene where he gets up wobbling around like he's got stars over his head, like he's a cartoon character that just got knocked out. And you see he's bouncing off the ropes, he's trying to play it off, but, I mean, it just isn't convincing enough. And then we got the scene where he's trying to get back into the fight, he's doing the wobbles so that hopefully the ref will end his embarrassing attempt at acting. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not an Academy Award winning performance. Here's a clip of Ben Askren leaving the fight. He's got a big old smile on his face. He looks like someone that just won a shit ton of money to fake a knockout. He may be a better fighter than Jake Paul, but his acting just does not compare. We also have a special guest coming up onto the show. His name is Jake Paul, and he's got a couple of words for you. Let's take a listen to what he has to say. And, like, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but all this shit's fucking rigged. You know, you see people whining and dining each other. 
you see people at Staples Center. Like who was at the who was at the Staples Center last night with KSI? You just step to the left, please. You just step. You know, people, people, people. This sport's rigged for sure. Logan, thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this here with you all. You guys can form your own opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe even check out my other videos. But for now, I'm hungry as shit. Probably gonna go get some pizza rolls. Um, peace out.